estimation of approximately 49 million people worldwide develop sepsis every year of which around 11 million do not even survive although there is a regional variation and the mortality rate is definitely decreasing sepsis still remains a serious issue worldwide while sedatives are one class of drugs that are prescribed during this phase midazolam and propofol being a gaba a agonists have traditionally been used as primary sedatives Midazolam is a convenient drug however very few studies compare its effectiveness with propofol. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr Nandita Mohan and I'm going to talk about assessments of sedatives during the acute phase under sedation protocols for patients with sepsis. A recent study reported that propofol is a better choice of sedative compared to midazolam based on a light sedation protocol that might be associated with inappropriate sedation during the acute phase with increased coma and delirium. The study was an analysis of data from the dexmethodamine for sepsis in ICU randomized evaluation trial which was the desire trial. Patients were divided into propofol and midazolam groups based on continuously usage of the drug and sedation control between these groups was compared on day 3. They assessed the incidence of delirium, the length of ICU stay, number of ventilator free days within the first 28 days period and mortality after 28 days. The results showed that both the groups had similar characteristics except for age and emergency surgery. The number of well controlled sedation patients in the propofol group on day 3 was significantly higher than that in the midazolam group. The incidence of daily coma and delirium within the initial week was different between these two groups and it increased with the midazolam administration. The number of confusion assessment method for ICU positive patients was significantly higher in the midazolam group compared to the propofol group. Hence it was concluded that in patients with sepsis requiring mechanical ventilation sedation with midazolam based on a light sedation protocol may be associated with inappropriate sedation during the acute phase with increased coma and delirium as compared to the propofol group. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.